Good morning, good morning, good morning. Once again, everybody, this is Jimmy Richardson. <coughs> Coming to you early this morning with another little video as I head to work early this morning. And it is another wonderful morning. I did wake up to be able to enjoy one more day. This beautiful, beautiful planet we call Earth. I'm gonna check this mail right here. Get the mail out. All right. Now, back going. Folks, it is a wonderful, wonderful day to be alive and kicking. Shout out to each and every one of you for taking the opportunity and taking the uh, time out of your busy schedule to watch my video. Now, this is a talking's head talking head music, uh, video. Ah, I don't know how to pronounce that. This is my talk morning therapy on my way to work. How about that? It's early in the morning, you know. Our thoughts are scrambled just a bit. And this is what the talk therapy is all about. For me able to talk, get the jumbled up thoughts off my mind. that way I can focus on what needs to be focused on yes my friends I call it another wonderful day and I'm in a positive mood I'm in a good mood I'm happy I'm content in life no drama going on in this world of mine because I don't allow it to let me hit the windshield wiper real quick with a little bit of washer fluid there clean that winter off just a bit there you go I like a clean windshield oh my goodness I like a clean windshield Folks, we traveling down Enoch Road this morning, early this morning. It is about 5.35 a.m. in the morning. And we are on our way to Conway. We're going to travel out there on Kate's Bay Highway. And jump, jump in the old company vehicle and start my work day. Get his little talk fear therapy. See, and as you can tell, I'm stumbling on my words this morning because it's early. It's because I haven't been talking. That's what the talk therapy is good for. Gets your brain on track. So, anyway, folks, how are you doing? I know y'all watch these videos, y'all get to hear me uh, ramble on and talk about life on my way to work but I would really like to hear from you guys you know right down there in the comment section maybe uh, thoughts and ideas of what, what's going on in your life you know just put it down in the comment section don't be shy ain't nobody gonna bite you and uh Let's, uh, let's learn about each other. So my videos, you know, I'm not here to, I'm not here to, uh, what is it, insult anybody or, or argue with anybody or speak negative. Just a positive morning talk. Talk therapy, that is. 
I keep telling myself, I got to keep telling myself that so I'll know why these morning videos are for me. Just so I can get my thoughts out there. You know, I don't really talk much, so this is a way for people to really get to know me is by watching my videos and listening to me. You know, if you want to know about me, I mean, I ain't that special. I ain't nobody important. Nobody really, you know, what's the big deal? There is no. It's just life. Once again, folks, just be happy. Now, I don't want you doing if you're sitting there uh, drinking your coffee or if you're sitting there, you know, bored watching my video or you just, you know, just take your time, take a moment, think about life. Y'all say, uh, y'all might think that's all I talk about all the time. Well, is there anything more? The older you get, the less tolerance you have for unimportant things in life. The older you get, the more the more you kind of focus on just I don't know. Focus on the good things in life focus on what's important focus on being happy the older you get the more easily it is for you to cut somebody loose the older I get the less I want to pursue or chase after anyone you know, that's 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 another topic on another day probably. I don't know. We can dive into it, it don't matter. But most people may ask, why am I single? Why do I not have a girlfriend or a wife or or you know, why why don't I have anybody in my life? Well, do I or do I not? That's that's that may be the, the big question. We'll save that for another video. Okay. Truck's gonna run the red light. Watch that. <laughs> I tell you, it was red. Uh, but anyways, yeah, folks. You know, I uh, I am a single man. Uh, I don't have a significant other. I don't have a partner. I'm living life by myself. I'm not lonely. And I don't chase after anybody. Either you like me, you like me, or you don't like me. I, it, it's not going to affect my life. I am the kind of person that if I if I am involved with somebody, if I'm in love with somebody, if I'm in that relationship, I am cold heartedly in that relationship. Wholeheartedly, I mean not cold. Wholeheartedly, meaning I put my soul, my whole self in that relationship. takes a lot because you know years have not been kind to my heart say so to speak my my love life my yeah we'll say that my love life has not been all that wonderful because I've been single most of my life. I would say I have been single probably 
90% of my life, if not more. Maybe 95% of my life. But I'm almost good with 90. 90% of my life, I've been single. Um, I've been married, which was only for five or six years or seven at the most. I don't know. Uh, like every other thing, you know, it doesn't last. People change. And but I got two wonderful uh, sons out of the deal. Um, they're grown and become men and out on the world doing their own thing. So I'm thankful that you know. Uh, what is that? phone is uh, allowing this to happen during my recording. <sighs> Give it a second. That's a Facebook uh, chat uh, or Facebook messenger. It doesn't show me who's calling or anything. It just starts ringing like that. I don't answer it because I don't know who it is. I don't know nothing about it. They're persistent. Anytime now. Seems to have been, seems to have stopped. Uh, I don't answer the uh, Facebook Messenger uh, calls because I have no idea who it is because it doesn't show on my screen who's calling or anything. And uh, calls like that automatically cameras, turns cameras on and stuff like that. And I just, I don't know who it is. So, anyways, I, uh, I'm glad y'all got the experience. That is that's that is a Facebook Messenger ringtone. I don't know if y'all heard it or not. I was I was hearing it, but I don't know if the the video picked it up. I'll uh, try to go through my messenger. Uh, when I get a chance and scroll through there and try to figure out who was calling my mail messenger. Um, but I'm not worried about it right now. What I'm talking about, my topic or not my topic, but what we were discussing right before that started happening. Um, I'm the kind of person as far as relationships and being involved with somebody once I once I start you know once once you've got me once you got my heart once I start once I fall in love with you I'm I'm all in it's the hardest part is to get me to that spot get me to the point that I fall in love with you because if I'm not in love with you you know I'm not gonna be chasing after you, running around like a little puppy dog or anything like that. That's the biggest thing. One reason I'm single is because I don't pursue anyone. And, you know, I start talking with somebody, they're, they're all flirty to start with, but then they kind of mellow out. Well, if you, if you hadn't got me to that point yet, then it's just going to fizzle out. I mean, you know, I don't care how beautiful you are or how, you know, wonderful you are if you if you back off before you get me to that love stage that falling in love with your stage it's gonna fizzle out you might as well just go ahead and just be friends just be one wonderful friendship I'll make a wonderful friend and that's it but if you ever with me, if you ever want to be like in a, a relationship with me, you've got to get me to that point of falling in love because relationships 
take a lot. It takes a lot. It's not just something that you just skip and rope along the way, you know, and I don't know. It takes, it takes, it takes a little bit. The one I saw I'm in love, I'm like locked in. But I've been, I've been through a lot of things and it makes me cautious and it makes me take my time. Um, I'm always a thinker and I will think things out and I will weigh them out to see how important they are and whether or not they are worth the worth the sacrifice or not well like I say relationships are a very strong thing you know, I've got people, you know, I love, but that's a different thing. See, there's, there's a difference between just loving somebody, you, you just love them, you just think so much of them, they're just so wonderful, you know. You, you respect them and love them and care about them. But that's not being in love. And uh, the thing about being in love is once you in love, is that you've connected yourself with that person. You've connected yourself with that person and you're almost like you're as one. Only if the other person is in love with you. It takes two people to be in love. You can't be in love with someone that just loves you. It's never going to last and that's what happens to a lot of relationships. People are on two different levels of love. There's always one person in a relationship that's in love with the other. And nobody can just say, well, I'm in love with so-and-so. That's saying it. But you, you, it's a whole different than ballpark. I'm saying it's a whole different ballpark. You got if you're gonna be with somebody and you're gonna be in love with them if that person you're in love with isn't in love with you if they just say I love you but they're not in love with you then you better prepare yourself all I gotta say you see folks that's my way of thinking see that's that's my I, my my idea of what goes wrong with the relationships is is that very thing you know so you got to be careful out there and that's one thing that that cautions me all the time and another reason why I'm single I don't just I just don't fall in love that easily anymore when I was young and dumb and reckless I run right in, head first, and hit the brick wall. Because most people are they're just fascinated with you. They're fascinated with you, they're interested in you, they want to know about you. But when it comes down to it, they're not in love with you. Because that's a whole different level. People get it's people that even get married. You know, they'll, they'll go as far as getting married and never be in love. And that's sad. Because that means you go get married, you're going to start a family and everything, and you're not even in love. Because I'm going to tell you what if two people meet each other and they get to know each other and they fall in love. Head first, both of them together, with each other. It is strong. That'll make one awesome family. 
because that bleeds off into the children. Children see that and you see how much their parents love each other. They see that and they want that in their life. I see too many, too many kids see the chaos that happens in couples nowadays. You know, they see it one sided. They say, oh, oh, well, mama loves daddy, but daddy, dad, daddy don't seem like he cares. Daddy, I don't ever see daddy uh, doing anything for mama. Uh, I don't, some, you know, or it might be the other way. It's like, daddy loves mama. But what is that? Ooh, that's not good. But daddy, uh, threw me off there. Well, you understand what I'm saying? You understand where I'm coming from? Is that don't start a family. Don't, don't, don't get married and start a family or, or anything like that. Just don't get married if you're not completely in love. Both of you together. Same level of in love. Don't just marry somebody because you love them admire them, you desire them, they, they good in the bed, sex, all that kind of stuff, you love them, you want to be with them just because they look beautiful, sexy, all that kind of stuff, because that comes and goes, it, it don't last, it don't last, because we get old. Life takes a challenge on us. Wears us out. Puts a toll on us. So just uh, keep that in mind, folks. Keep that in mind. I'm no expert. I don't know everything. And uh, I'm not telling you the facts of life. I'm just simply stating my thoughts. That's just, that's just me. So, take what I say with the grain of a grain of salt, or however they say that saying. Take what I say, grain of salt. But, it is life. And y'all know it's true. Y'all know it's true. But, some of us are trapped in a relationship that you, 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 uh, you don't know what to do. You're not in love with the person, but yet you married them. There you go. If you jump in a marriage before you're in love, you're setting yourself up for doom. You're just not gonna, not gonna work out. Very sad, but true. Anyway, folks, that's just my thoughts this morning on that. It's time for another wonderful day, another wonderful day in the neighborhood. I have arrived here at work this morning. I'm glad we had the opportunity to have this little chat, this little talk. And if you got any thoughts, ideas, suggestions about what I've talked about this morning, down in the uh, suggestion box, down in the comment section. Give me your ideas, your suggestions, anything. Or simply say hello to me. Because it's going to be a wonderful day, my friends. It's going to be a wonderful day indeed. As we pull up here on the truck yard this morning. And sit here for just a moment before we jump out the truck. We'll get the vehicle, get the truck checked out, get it ready to go. And we'll do our thing, shaking and baking, rocking and rolling, humping and dumping and doing it, getting it going. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If not, if so, if so, by all means, give me a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you think somebody needs to hear this, I know I didn't start it off with the way we finished it. Uh, but if you think somebody needs to hear some of this, 
by all means, share it with them. Tell them to listen to what I've said or, you know, tell them to make sure they go at least halfway through the video to get to the parts where I was talking about certain things. Uh, if you think it can help somebody, uh, maybe they need to look at something in a different way. Maybe they need to look at something in a, someone else's eyes, someone else's way of thinking. Um, by all means, uh, share it with them, put it on your social media, whatnot, you know. This is just my talk therapy for me. This is just so I can get my thoughts and my ideas and my suggestions, everything on my mind off. First thing in the morning, get myself on track. Now my mind's straight. Now I can focus on work, get my job done, be 110%. That's why I do it. I think we had a good talk therapy this morning. I feel like I've, I've, uh, I've had a good, you know, good talk. Um, if you, uh, if you got something you want to say, you know, please, please, please tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, like I said, I'm just an ordinary old fella out here. Running the mills. Backwoods country boy. No, just about not no more because it's becoming subdivision. Uh, a, uh, what do you call it? A suburb. It's becoming a suburb of Ori County. In the Ori community. So. Folks, let's end this video by saying. If you got to be out and about. By all means. Do be safe. and Be courteous. And be nice. And do help somebody if you can. As long as it's safe for you to do so. But above all, folks, stay positive. Think positive. Focus on life. Focus on pushing forward. Focus on the important things in life. Life is short. It can be gone in the blink of an eye. So live each and every moment, every day, on being happy and on the positive things of the world. Don't waste another moment on the negative stuff out there. Like I said, folks, don't worry. Be happy. Y'all know it. Let's live it. This is Jimmy Richardson. Peace out, my friends.